Thanks very much for giving me the opportunity to speak to the Connacht Telegraph. So this is going to be a new festival for Castlebar. Um, I suppose Castlebar is synonymous with the 1798 rebellion. There has been uh, a lot, a lot of um, history here in the town. The 1798 races at Castlebar was one of the, the major battles in the west of Ireland. It kind of launched the second offensive in the 1798 rebellion. And it, uh, it actually is one of the battles still talked about in British military history as it was over so quickly that it still gets referenced in British military history. So we're delighted that uh, as the Lions Club that we can partner up with Mayo County Council and other organisations in the town and we have a concrete schedule in place now. We're delighted to be able to launch it. It's been months uh, in the making and thanks to all the committee and the organisations and the councillors in the town for getting behind it. Okay, so so it's, it's it's going to open on the Friday evening with, with a series of events, and there'll also be events on the Saturday and the Sunday. Yeah, so Friday it will be launched. So we'd like people to come along to the county library. There will be a 1798 diorama on display, yes. and there will be a video of the races at Castle Bar on the loop there. On Friday evening, then we have the march of the Pike Brigade. So we're inviting people and drama groups to dress up as pikemen, as has been done. Uh, Previously, there will be some reenactors, and we will march through the town to the Mall and officially open the festival. And then on Friday evening, Dr. Michael O'Connor has given a, a series of talks about uh, Captain Fraser, who was a captain in the British Army here in town. His daughter wrote a series of letters, and uh, he will he will uh, launch a talk that evening. So very very interesting. There'll also be events throughout the town that night, and then on Saturday there'll be a big big family friendly day on the Mall. So we've got pet farms with the Midwest Radio Roadcaster. We'll have food fairs. We'll have vendors and an outdoor concert. So the Mall will really be converted into a family friendly um, centre. So make sure and come down. You know if you've family abroad or grandkids, kids family that don't get back as much it's a, it's a weekend for them to come back to Castlebar yes. and see how great the town is what we've got to offer and then we have walking tours and other historical talks all day Saturday uh, Tumble and Paddy's are playing Sunday night in the TF and that night Daniel O'Donnell is playing in the TF and we'll have another outdoor concert then on the Sunday with some more musical acts um, we are going to have a member of the French consulate down to lay a reed at French Hill which is where um, four French soldiers are buried and where John Moran was um, appointed the first president. It was the New Irish Republic, uh, the President of Connacht, which was the free part, but the idea was that there was to be a New Irish Republic. Okay. And then uh, we have another reed laying ceremony then at John Moore's grave at half twelve Sunday by a minister from the government. Okay. And you just, you just finally, Ronan, um, is this hope to be an annual event now? Yeah, well, there's talk and look, we'll get through this um, this year first, but um, there is talk of an annual event yes. and I think you know 1798 in the town they're so interconnected and there's a lot of history here it's great to have something to market the festival around and I think a 1798 festival it was in discussions within the Lions Club and at the meetings um, about marketing the town and I think uh, this year especially the 225th year anniversary there's talk of um, an annual event and then yeah. building up to a, a big reenactment on the 230th um, anniversary like we had in the town back in 2013.